what is going on guys Billy Kibaki here and welcome back to my channel so guys after Sony releases that new update 4.89 things have gotten a lot more interesting um, it seems like they're unable to stop the exploit but what they have done is change the way how you signed in to your account I don't know maybe maybe they're able to keep tabs on people this way more I am not sure so if you guys are using your exploited PS3 hen I'm gonna show you guys how to log in online with that console if you're using CFW I'm not sure if it will work but you can definitely give it a try and see if it works for you too as well but um, let's go ahead and get started alright guys so what we need to do from right here is make sure that you have a USB drive and make sure that it's formatted to FAT32 but let me go over to my PS3 and show you guys that I'm using PS3 hand and my firmware is 4.88 okay guys so I'm on my PS3 now so if I s try to sign in on my PSN account you will see that I get this message saying that I need to update um, let me just show you there it is I'm using hen let me show you my system information there it is 4.88 um, for this to work guys there's also something that you will need on your PS3 make sure that you have this on your PS3 for this to work and is that you will need a webman so this is the webman I've been using for a very long time and I have no problem with it whatsoever so make sure that you have webman installed on your PS3 on your PS3 hand if you do not have webman I don't think this will work alright so now that you guys know about those stuff let's head back over to the PC and let's grab the file that we need alright so this is the file right here the ps3 update list dot text go ahead and copy it and you want to paste it on your USB drive right here make sure that your USB drive is formatted to FAT32 go inside it and you want to paste the ps3 update list right here right at the root now we can go ahead and eject our USB stick Alright, so now let's go ahead and plug this into our PS3. Okay, everyone, so I just plugged the USB stick into the PS3. Um, as you can see, the PS3 detects the USB drive. It doesn't matter if it's the left port or right port. Any one of the USB port will work as long as the PS3 detects it. Okay, what we need to do is go ahead and enable our HEN. Okay, so from right here, we need to go down to Multiman and we need to run Multiman. Okay, so once you're inside a Multiman, you want to go up to the part where it says PS3 root. So you want to double tap X to open it up. Then open up the dev underscore USB 000. Double tap X again. Now go back over to PS3 root bring this one down here and now we want to open up dev underscore hdd0 okay so go back over to the USB press X circle and you want to copy the PS3 update list then go over here press X and scroll all the way down now right here just press X again circle and paste it okay now we can just close these down go down here where you see the PS icon press it and then go down to restart system you should restart your system make sure that you restart the PS3 system okay so once your PS3 has been rebooted log into your account and then from right here go ahead and enable your hen
all right so we still need to do a few more steps guys but let me just show you something so I'm gonna try and log in and you're gonna see that it does not work so as you all can see it it is saying that the password is incorrect even though I typed in the right password but as I said before with the new update Sony have implemented a new way of signing in I don't know if it's to keep tabs on people accounts or something I don't know but let's do a few more steps so that you can sign in so just press circle and you just want to go back out now let's head over to the internet so get your phone your laptop or your desktop or whatever but we need to go over to the internet and we need to go right here the, what says uh, store.playstation.com so this is the website that we need to go to the link will be in the description what we're going to do next is click on signed in and you just want to enter your information all right so once you're signed in you will see your icon right here so click it then go to account settings from right here you want to go to security click continue then from right here down here where it says the device setup password we need to click right here the one that says two-step verification you can leave it disabled okay that's fine but right here is where we need to click the one that says generate or manage device setup passwords okay so click it it's gonna look like this it's gonna tell you right here in the blue generate new password so press it and then you're gonna get a new password right here so this is the password that we need to enter so that we can log into our PSN account on our PS3. So let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in again using the new password. All right, so I just enter in the new password. Make sure that you type it the exact same way that you see on the website. Go ahead, press start, then press sign in. And there you go. So we are now signed in on our PS3, our hand PS3. Let me show you my system information again. there it is 4.88 so yeah there it is guys I am online with my account there it is so that's all it is guys that's all it is to sign in online so that's it guys that's how easy it is to sign in online with your PS3 hen um, if the video was helpful give it a like share it around and I will see you guys next time in my next video Thank you.